Good morning and greetings. Welcome to the Virtual Cup Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Meredith Ullman. And good morning, Meredith. I'm Jessica Stauber. I am in Duluth, Minnesota right now, and you are still enjoying our week-long family vacation, which we'll talk about in a minute. We're talking about embracing community this week. But before we get into that, we're going to quickly rewind to last week's episode and talk about um, the challenge about going to visit a shrine or learn more about a shrine near you. And uh, just a quick definition, a shrine is a church or other sacred place which has the approval of the local bishop and which is visited by the faithful as pilgrims. Sometimes it can be a burial place of a saint or a Marian apparition, but more commonly it is erected as a center for a specific devotion. So the challenge was to check out shrines near you or maybe where you're going to be on vacation and, and maybe build that into your itinerary. Meredith, you already have a trip planned thanks to one of your Bible study uh, team members. Yes. Tell us about it. Yes, it, it, it's super fun. So we called ourselves the Beloved Believers and um, a group of us, a handful, maybe five, six of us, we're going to just jump on a plane, Jessica, next uh, next month in July. We're going to fly to Cleveland, Ohio, and we are going to visit what is called the Maria Stein Shrine. And it was uh, settled in 1846, and there are over 1,200 relics there. Um, I will save the details of what's there and, and the whole trip experience for another podcast, but Prior to talking about this, Jessica, prior to this podcast, I can't say I would just book an intentional trip to a shrine, um, but now that it's out there and we're talking about it, it is so amazing. And I love how you challenged us. Find one and go, or when you're on vacation, just what's the nearest shrine near me? So um, yeah, thanks for the challenge. Well, we look forward to hearing about it. Safe travels. So this week we're talking about embracing community, which we came up with the topic because of what we've done this past week. Meredith, you want to talk about this family tradition that we have that I think is is just simply amazing. Yes, Jessica, it, you know, we've been doing this for 40 years, okay? Um, and sometimes, you know, over the years when people would say, what are you doing? You know, it's an eight day trip, right? We, we, my mom and dad still sleep in their tent. Um, it's, it's rustic. We've been going to the same place for decades. So it's not like new and, and unpredictable, but what, what we have realized and really, um, this vacation is worth its weight in gold is community of our family, Jessica. Um, we each take a meal and, and there can be upwards of, you know, 30 people, and when I tell people that, they'll say, oh my gosh, that's a lot of people. I said, I'm only in charge of one meal. So I just, you know, right? If you're going to make it, times it by five, times it by six. And it's such a gift to sweat during the day, make your meal over open fire ovens, you know, all the things and to to serve. It, there's there's joy in that and you feel accomplished. And then the people that are that receive it, they're so grateful. It's like, oh, it's not my day to cook and they can kick back. And we're very grace-filled. No one, no one has ever told us we've made a bad meal. So um it's not that, but it's just so powerful to to feed someone and to receive it. And then each meal we have, we the tradition is we join our hands, we sing our song, and um, you know we break bread together. And and where two or three are gathered, you know there am I in your midst. You know that's from you know Matthew eighteen twenty. It's so true and it's so powerful. Um, yeah, I I I don't know Jessica. Like there's so many pieces of it. It's so simple, but yet so powerful. Yeah. So we, our parents, and then we're, there are six children. So we're of six children and our spouses and a lot of our children are able to make it as well. So it's the only time we have a brother who lives in Green Bay and a brother and sister-in-law to uh, a niece and a nephew. And I really, this is the only week of the entire year I see them. And uh, to have that quality time together, like you said, we're not running around doing all kinds of touristy things. We're Hanging out at the campground, hanging out at the beach, going to the sandbar, water skiing, fishing, uh, just sitting by the campfire playing games. And it's such a such quality time of uh, embracing community and just being able to have a variety of um, meaningful conversations, casual conversations, a lot of cards. That's a big pastime that we have. But it's it's relaxing, rejuvenating and quality time spent with with our family. And um, it's, it's amazing that, I mean, there's been years where not all of the siblings have made it, but 
um, for the past several, it feels like um, we've all been there and, you know, for us all to get that week off. I mean, we prioritize it, right? We could easily say, oh, I can't get that week off because this is going on at work or that's happening, but, but we prioritize it. And, um, and it's really a wonderful time of year. And, and Jessica, I think that that is such a key word. So, you know, for those of you listening, we want to, I mean, I don't know if this is the official challenge, but I want to challenge, you know, you as a listener to say, where in your life um, could you have more community with your family in particular? Because we get so busy and we have so many distractions, it's too easy to push off. And and I would beg to um, argue that we're not any more busy or less busy than the person listening. I mean, we all have 24 hours in a day. So it really does come down to intentionality. And I can guarantee you, I, I'm sure the cabin is already booked for next year, Jessica. You guys, you know, a couple of days left. It's like, oh, let's go talk to Mike. Let's let's book the house again. And um, we put it in the calendar. It's a, non, it's a non-negotiable because we just know and treasure the quality downtime we have together. Um, and, and it's, you know, one thing you said, you know, we're not busy um, standing in lines and I'm not disking any other trips, but this is a true vacation. We know the routine. Um, the kids can go fish off the dock. Um, you know, some of us ran to church a couple of times, you know, there's a, there's a church. We, we got to hit mass morning mass. Um, that's just up the road. So we have, we have plenty of wonderful accommodations. Town's just 10 minutes away where, um, you know, that's all taking place. And uh, I just, I didn't know years ago how treasured this would be and the older we um, get and the more busy we become, this has become more and more sacred. And so it's fun to, to think that some of the listeners, maybe they'll, you know, implement a tradition starting now um, to have that intentional community time with their family. Yeah. So it, what came to mind when you said uh, embracing more time with family would be even something as simple as a weekly call to your mom. And maybe it's a set time. If you don't talk to your mom very often, call her every week at a set time. Um, and then I also, for the challenge, I think uh, we've talked about this a little bit before, but uh, the next time you're invited to something, say yes. So it might be, oh, can you go on a walk with me this morning? And there, you know, a th- like we're talking about a thousand reasons why you should say no. But say yes, say yes to that chance to connect with somebody else in a, in a meaningful way and see how the, see the riches that that bears, see the fruit that that bears. Um, Maybe it's a conversation that you have during that walk that really impacts you, or maybe, maybe you're being called to be that listening ear for that friend and um, just again, listen and um, be there for that person. But I think if we can be intentional about that and uh, to say yes to community mm. and, and track, you know, kind of track the impact of that. I think that would be a neat, um, thing for us to do, for you to do, for everyone to do and see how that, what comes from that, from that. Yes. What comes from that? Yes. Saying yes to community. You know, and Jessica, and I think it goes both ways. So I, I, I do love that challenge. Say yes to community. So this next week when somebody, and it might even be a phone call coming in like, oh, I don't have time to talk to so-and-so right now. Or like, you know what? I'm going to take five minutes. I'll let that person know that, hey, I've got five minutes. Would love to connect, right? You, I mean, you can create boundaries within that. I don't think yes has to be yes. And then all boundaries are off. Say yes with some boundaries. Um, so you're not so intimidated to to commit to that. But then how about flip it around? Don't wait, Jessica, for someone maybe to invite you and for you to say yes. Why don't you just even say yes to creating the invite to an, invite someone else into community? And so on the flip side, maybe you have five minutes and there's someone on your heart and just say, hey, Sue, it's Jessica. I just had five minutes and I just wanted to check in to see how this event went last week. Or, you know, I have a f- few minutes and I know we talked last week. I just wanted to check in. So I think let's say yes when invited in, but if that opportunity doesn't happen before you maybe create an invitation to someone else this week. Love it. I was thinking about my dinner night this year. I always, I think I always make pasta. And kind made, of Italian. You got the Italian night. I'd say. Yep, I got it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I found a recipe and I timed it by, I think it was 12 because we ended up inviting the, there was some, um, a, uh, 
high school students or middle school students up in the area from Iowa who were on a mission trip working at the, um, is it St. Francis Salinas Mission Church on the Lacoudre Reservation, yep. uh, cleaning the gravestones, which was really amazing. So they uh, took a week out of their summer to come out on a mission trip. And we met them at church and our brother-in-law who lives in Hayward invited them over for dinner or for a pontoon ride, but then, well, why not just invite them for dinner? So it was, <laughs> it was awesome. I mean, that night we probably had, I don't know, I don't know how many people had, but anyway, it was wonderful. And it was just, it was, yeah, come on in. We'll, we'll make more food. Right, and, 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 and right. And not, you know, like if this was at home and we're busy, we'd be like, Oh, we would stress out. Right. We'd be like, I don't know. And you're like, Hey, what's, what's. I'm doing eight boxes of noodles. What's, you know, what's 12? I mean, you get to, yeah. <laughs> it was great. You, you nailed so it. it was really fun. And just to, to be able to connect with people from another state who are on a mission trip. In fact, they were going from here to our lady of champion yes. uh, to that shrine. And then to another shrine in the Milwaukee area, I think, but anyway, it's, it's, um, you know, I, I felt like, yeah, we can make more food. And because I had community around me, my sisters and sister-in-laws helping prepare the food and just knowing that, you know, lead with your heart. Don't worry about, uh, is it going to be good enough? Is there going to be enough? It, it'll it be fine. It'll be great. And it was just a great um, opportunity for me to, yeah, in the past, I might have freaked out a little bit, but I'm like, okay, yeah. we got and, and 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 that's the thing too, I think we have to remember when you're in community, you're not alone. So you might've created the invite. You might be making the meal. You might be driving the boat, but you have people with you people want to step in Jessica people are willing and nobody was it wasn't like oh would someone please help me people walk around and say how can I help you Jessica because yes. Jessica saved my butt on my meal my, my husband and I have an agreement we've been married 28 re- years and we plan to be married another 28 and and we just know our limits and so on my day to cook I just ask Mark to not be around right Jess it's like Mark you just go do you wait till I call you um, we just don't balance in the kitchen. Well, Jessica was my right hand gal and it was beautiful and we had fun. And then Mark came in, you know, clutch at the end to do the things he needed to do. And we're all better for it. Uh, Jessica, one thing, um, you know, speaking of community, uh, Father David, um, we invited him out one evening. And so he joined us for dinner and some spike ball. And he sent this text to Mark and he said, and I just think this really um, puts a pretty bow about around what we're talking about. It is always a blessing spending time with you all, meaning this Kozak community. I think your week together is the fulfillment of God's plan for family. Um, wow. So yeah, I thought that was just warmed my heart. Oh, so Meredith, you said you hope to be married for another 28 years to Mark. What happens Absolutely. on your, what happens on your 29? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, speaking of weddings, we had a beautiful family wedding last night. So I, I left, we left our Kozak family wedding a little bit sooner to come to us or vacation a little soon early to come to a Stauber family wedding, which was wonderful. Another great example of community mm. where you can just see so many family members and friends and connect on a such a joyous occasion Mm. and it was a beautiful ceremony Uh, father rich did an amazing job and uh, shout out and congratulations to levi and katie Mm. yeah weddings are beautiful i mean that that, there you go that's an example of community and and you know sometimes you think oh especially if they're not immediate family you get invited to something like that it's like like, you know i'm i I don't really want to go and I don't know if people like in a big event like that, sometimes maybe they don't notice you're not there, but they notice when you are, people do want to see your face. They do want to hear your voice and you, you are important. You might feel like a small fish in a big sea, but each fish matters. So um, just know this week, say yes, or create a yes for someone else. Um, I think that's really our encouragement. Wonderful. Thanks, Meredith. Would you like to close us in prayer? Absolutely. In the name of the father and of the son and of the Holy spirit. Amen. Oh, just dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day as I sit in the pontoon overlooking your beauty and the sun is shining down, the birds are singing. Thank you for this time with Sister Jessica. Um, Thank you for our community that um, we got to immerse ourselves in, our community of family this past week and how we were able to extend some olive branches and invite a few people in to the circle this week. Will you just encourage us to be present, to listen um, and reveal to us who needs community around us? 
somebody who needs a hug, a cup of coffee, just an ear to listen. Help us to be present, to acknowledge, and to invite. And then any that come our way, um, remind us to say yes and take that minute, knowing that we can create boundaries within that, but um, but we can do it in honor and, and serve you in that process. We ask you to bless all of us who are traveling away from this family vacation this week. Just blessing all newborn babies out there and uh, would love to just give a shout out to Sister Gretchen and her beautiful model of faith and her just true testament to you and how awesome you are and, and just her deep, deep understanding that you are with her every step as you are with each one of us. So thank you for Sister Gretchen. And we just ask for her complete healing, eradication of her cancer cells, just asking for the intercessions of the angels and the saints and our sweet mother Mary to um, just offer up those graces and um, intercede on, on Gretchen's behalf. We ask this in your holy name. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.